is windy, but it is a gorgeous day out. The brat pack is out running around, but I can't leave them out for too long because they don't have any shade. And the puppy is getting big, where is she? Oh, I just realized I had it zoomed in. Let me zoom out a bit. So, what's the matter, Bo? He's not hot, he just wants to be petted. He's my psycho dog, you know, he's the one that melts down constantly. So, in other news, they, uh, are, why'd you guys knock over that bucket? Okay, they still have water in that one. In other news, um, bow stop, we're fine. What is, no, those two dragonflies are getting it on over there. Um, in other news, we had, zoom out a little bit more. Went to the doctor yesterday, the surgeon who, what do you have, Merida? Um, went to the surgeon yesterday. I am cleared for going back to full activities, including riding my horse over there. Um, I have to be careful, start gradually, build up, so forth and so on. If I feel pressure or headache in the surgery area above, you know, my eyebrows, in front of my head, sinus area, I am to stop immediately and take a break. Um, they decided, I, the doctor was honest, he was very honest, and said they, the, the, he presented my case, I think I said in the last video, at a cancer conference. Nobody knows how to treat this cancer because it is so new. Um, and because of the damage that radiation can do to the brain and eye, because they're so close to the area that would need to be irradiated, they all decided that it's not worth the risk of damaging the brain and the eye with radiation as of right now. So what they're going to do, which I had already decided as well, we're not doing radiation at this point. Um, there'll be visual checks, which are not comfortable at all. They basically take a long thin flashlight and stick it up your nose to look at your sinus and brain area. They do numb the area first, but still sometimes the numbing agent doesn't get all the way back there. So it's not quite pleasant. <laughs> um, uh, and MRIs are every three months, every three to four months for two years. And then um, every six months forever. Because the only two deaths that occurred with this type of cancer occurred, one was because scans were stopped too soon because usually if you're cancer free for a couple years you're good for you know a while and it turned out that person it came back at year four and went into their brain um, by the time they got into the doctor it was too late and then another person was the same issue uh, elderly gentleman I think it was a gentleman who um, also didn't go to the doctor didn't get it seen until it had already gone into his brain. So it is slow growing. We just have to uh, keep an eye on it. If it comes back, then they will do, then they, they want to do radiation. Um, we'll see. There's going to be some major changes and so forth. <laughs> Hold on, I got to zoom in on this happy, happy boxer puppy there. Oh, I stopped. <laughs> One of these days I'll do a video about all the dogs. But, okay, now I'm going to zoom back out again. Yeah, I suck at my, my, my cinematography skills are not the best. 
but I'm going to have to get them in. Like I said earlier, it's, it's getting pretty warm out. And right now they don't have any shade. This is just a temporary area to give them a place to run because they're all high energy dogs locked into a camper and that's just no fun at all. So we gave them an area to run around in for a bit. Right, Bo? Are you a good dog, Bo? When you're not having a meltdown? And Mary, Typhoon Merida. Yep, all right, so that's the update on my health. Um, the update on some of the other decisions we were going to do is been put on hold because my daughter informed me that um, there's a possibility of, of something happening and that kind of requires since she lives with us, that kind of requires that we stay here until we know for sure one way or the other. And I'm not going to share what that is yet because it's not 100%. But we don't want to ruin any opportunities for her. So, um, because we, we, I was at the point of selling and moving a little bit north where the seasons are a little more evened out. Anyhow, that's what's going on for now. I got to get these guys in. And you guys have a, a great day. I mean, it is, look at this blue sky. It's gorgeous out today. So I may put them in, but I may stay out. We'll see. Have a great day, guys. And as always, like, subscribe, share, you know, give us a little love. Uh, I promise I'll get back to homesteading videos soon. Bye.